Hello and welcome to Too Cute for Cancer. My name is Jody, and actually I'm from the future <laughs> because I forgot to film a welcoming clip. I was going back and editing and I thought, wait a minute, I just started talking. I didn't I didn't even like say hi to anybody. <laughs> so Jody from the Future is welcoming you to Too Cute for Cancer. Now let me just explain a little bit about my channel so you're not disappointed or you'll still maybe going to be disappointed, but just let me, just let me, let me tell you. <laughs> um, my channel is about cancer, but it's not about cancer. It's about me, my life, my journey, living with stage four metastatic breast cancer. Um, I am a miracle. I have been living with stage four uh, cancer for... I want to say it's been nine years since I was diagnosed, maybe more with stage four when it moved into, they consider it stage four when it's moved to other body parts. Well, it moved to other body parts years and years ago. And there's my husband's phone going off. <laughs> anyway, so I've been stage four for a very, very long time. I was diagnosed 20... I want to say 23 years ago, 24 years ago. It, well, I keep saying 20 years, but then years just keep going on and on. Anyway, oh, let's see. I got to figure this out. I was diagnosed when my daughter was two, and she's 20. <gasps> she's 25. Seven, oh. 27. She's 27. So it's been 25 years since my first diagnosis with cancer. But I have been, I was in remission for quite a while, eight years, and then it came back with a vengeance, and I have not been in, I've had clear scans for like a year, and then boom, you know, it started spreading again. And right now it is in my bones, um, mainly my spine, sternum, long bone, pelvic, you name it, it's there. <laughs> um, so, my channel is not a sit down, let's do chemo, because I stopped chemo a long time ago. I'm receiving palliative care, and I am doing holistic medicine. And I just finished doing vitamin C treatments, infusions, um, mega dosing. They give it to you through IVs anyway. That's just a little bit about me. So if you're confused, if, if you start watching and saying, well, who's sick? What what's, what's this about? It's about me and how I deal with it, how I live with it. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. Right now, I happen to be on an upswing and I'm feeling really good. The vitamin C is doing wonders for my energy. Um, I am going in for a scan. In fact, this week I go for my scan to see if the vitamin C had done, has done anything to thwart the cancer, the tumors. So now that's a little bit about me. <laughs> so you are in the right place if you came wanting to know about cancer and how to live with cancer, how to thrive with cancer. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a link I don't know, I never know what site it's gonna pop up on. But in a corner, either here or there, I will put a little, I will post a link at the end of this video um, with three videos that chronal put my journey in chronological order for you if you're interested in catching up. Okay, now that I've told you what you get from the channel um, or what my channel is about. I'd like it if you could subscribe and join my channel, join my family. I would love it. Um, I promise you will get complete transparency. I share my entire life, my my family, my grandchildren, my home, my fears, my heartaches, my joys. I share it all here in vlog form. Um, I hold back nothing. <laughs> so if that sounds like something that you could be you know, uh, into, then hit the subscribe button and join the family. Our community here is amazing. We have the most loving, supportive, 
group of people. I mean, read my comments and you will see. Of course, we have a couple trolls, but what are you gonna do? Learning how to deal with that, learning how to get thicker skin because I'm not used to that. <laughs> so, you know, learning how to just, you know, dust it off and keep on going. But anyway, if you'd like to be supported in many, many different ways with many, many different loving people, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I promise you'll either get inspiration, you'll get ideas, um, or you might be bored and then you can just unsubscribe and go your way. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm done. I'm done with my welcome. Jody from the future has welcomed you to Too Cute for Cancer. Now let's get on with the week. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and dark, your story's untold. Come take my hand and walk there with me. I know okay, a place so it just where it's real easy into here. Free. There it is. And yeah, I think this, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be so baggy right here. Um, it says that it's a B cup and those are B, B processes. So maybe if you put it on, see it kind of, hmm. But if you have it on, then it doesn't squish in. I get it. Okay. So yeah, nice and nice and perfect actually. Very nice. Okay. Well, I haven't worn a actual mask mastectomy bra in a bit. I usually, I got some a while back and they were really heavy and uncomfortable so I, I just wear like a t-shirt underneath or nothing at all unless it's see-through and stuff. So this will be um, interesting to try. That's pretty cool. All right, you guys, I'll report to see how comfortable it is. And um, I'm sure they're going to give me a link. They have not yet, but when they do, I will report and I'll drop it below. But yeah, I think these are only, if I looked at the um, pricing right, I think these were only $19.99, which if you know about uh, mastectomy products, prostheses, they're usually a lot more. And so they, this company, Volence, um, produces uh, tons of different mastectomy uh, products for a fraction of the cost. And they use the same um, quality of silicone and uh, this, the non, it's hyperallergenic, you know, so it doesn't, you know, break you out and uh, give you a rash. That was one problem I had with one set that I did get. So anyway, I'll be anxious to try this and then report, but wow, look how big that is. <laughs> ah, I'm going to have big boobies. That's going to be interesting, especially since uh, my natural size was an A anyway. <laughs> so this, this could be quite fun. All right, you guys. Well, I will report back and let you know how they wear and I'll show, it, show them to you under a t-shirt. There you go. Good afternoon, you guys. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> Had to stop and think. And I'm in bed, me and Mickey. Me and my favorite Mickey Mouse shirt. I got this at H&M and it's so comfortable. They had mini too, but they didn't have my size in mini. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I really like Mickey and Minnie for my for my loungewear. <laughs> you would never know I'm a grown up woman, right? So anyway, um, yeah. So I woke up in the middle of the night, running a temperature, and I was like totally panicked because I'd been around my mom at the hospital and I've been with my dad and I just was like oh my lord I can't get people sick right now it's just not not good so um anyway I got up and I took some ibuprofen drink a whole or Tylenol and I drink a whole bunch of water just to 
kind of get it in me as fast as possible. And then about 4 a.m., the achy, sorry, my camera is really acting funky. The lighting in here is bad. Sorry. Anyway, um, my muscles started to ache and that, like, the, 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 the feeling came over me. And so then I got up and about, whoops, and see, there goes the light again. See, this is the this is the thing. I'm going to need a new camera soon. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so um, long story short, I'm sick. I got up this morning and I put all of my hours that I was supposed to work on swap and I closed the computer and I see it's doing this funky thing. Anyway, I rolled up and I went back to sleep and I woke up about an hour ago. So, um, yeah, I just, my body just, you know, I've been go, 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 go. And I think it just got tired and, you know, got sick. But I took some, um, uh, NyQuil and that knocked me out and I got some really good sleep. So, that was, that's what my body needs. So I'm going to stay in bed all day. I feel like I've got like a little bit of swollen glands and kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a sore throat, but it feels more like when I get really tired, I'll run a fever and I'll get swollen glands just from being totally like wiped out. And I think that's what it is. So anyway, I am going to stay put and curl up in the blanket for today. My husband made me take a um, uh, COVID test and not COVID. I could have told them that because I've had COVID twice. I know what it feels like, but um, this is just, I think I'm worn down. So anyway, um, yeah, sorry, today's not going to be too exciting as far as vlogging <laughs> but there's tomorrow and I hope and pray that I'm up and at them for tomorrow because I've got so much to do uh, I just oh I don't even want to think about it right now I'm just gonna focus on trying to get better and oops and the phone keeps going off and Mickey Mouse and I are going to curl back up and probably doze back off and go to sleep Hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. I'll see you guys in a bit tomorrow, probably. Hi, guys. Um, sorry, I'm still down. I, um, yeah, I just got a really, really bad sore throat, high fever, and it is just like my whole body feels like uh, someone ran over it with a truck. So, um, yeah, I think that the stress of, um, getting, anticipating my scans and, um, just being busy and go, 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 I think. And then also I was at the hospital a lot, which I know there's a lot of germs and stuff there. So, um, yeah, I spent almost two weeks in and out of the hospital with my mother, as you guys know, and now, um, um, yeah, I just, you know, I guess I'm not really surprised that I'm, like, sick. Sorry, I look so bad. I'm, like, all greasy and yucky and rot. Uh, I'm, like, so bad. I look like rubbish. I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was supposed to do a scan this morning. Today is Thursday, and I was too sick. I could not go and get everybody infected. That was would not be right. So I had to call and reschedule it, which is just the last thing I wanted to do because I'm already anxious over it, but I didn't have a choice. And then tomorrow, 
is Friday and I have scans. I have my MRI tomorrow scheduled, which I'm gonna I'm I'm thinking I'm, I thought I'd be better maybe, but I'm not. My fever right now is down to like a hundred and one, but it was like up to a hundred and three point five when I when I don't take my um Tylenol it it just it spikes up but right now it's like going down because I took um I took four Tylenol um about like an hour ago so it's like it's I'm at my best right now but um I can't imagine um being well enough to go tomorrow for my MRI and my um, my CT scan. So um, today was a bone density test um, where you lay down and they put the thing over and they check your bones and all that. Um, so tomorrow were the two, well all of them are important, what am I saying? So um, yeah, so I'm going to have to reschedule those. Prayerfully, I can get them um, scheduled like um, not weeks out like normal. I think that because the doctor had put stat on it, um, that usually that they move me to the front of the line. So... Um, I hope that remains the same now that I'm canceling, but I'm sure I'm sure they'll appreciate me not bringing me my the germs to them <laughs> and stuff. So yeah, and I feel like frustrated because I've got oh my gosh, I have so much to do, and I just I couldn't care less. I'm just like let it all let it all go. I don't care it's like it's one of those like you're just too sick to care that's 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 me today so um uh update on my parents the kids have been packing um them up and it's going really well my I was too sick to go yesterday so I sent my son thank thank God for children I always tell my sister this is why I have a lot of kids <laughs> but anyway I sent my son Ryan he went in my place and he helped pack up and then he went again today and he painted um, finished painting the cabinets in their house uh, because they want it to look fresh and clean when they show it because they're selling it mom got moved to a new rehab home that she hates um, it's really not that bad uh, I've been there before to interpret and my son's been there as a paramedic uh, but and I was there when my grandma was there my grandma passed away there that's why my mom is not happy with the place and I don't blame her but there's no we it's totally out of our control there's no other places available and <sighs> yeah so I'm just trying to encourage her to focus on what you're there for so you can get out and you can go and be in your nice new home so that's what we're trying to do uh, yeah so it's just uh, I did some stress and then my sister um, my nieces Maddie you guys know Maddie uh, her uh, 19th birthday party is Saturday and we aren't going to go because I I don't want to spread the love you know and I definitely don't want my dad to get sick that would be horrible right now um so I texted her and I said I will think of you and I love you and it's not like we haven't seen each other you know but Still, I was kind of disappointed because I really wanted to go. Um, the kids' karate tournament is Saturday morning. Not going to be able to go to that. 
tomorrow night is Oliver's, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of it. Oh, belt ceremony. Last week was Levi's, this week is Ollie's. So, I'm going to miss that. So, Grandpa will go and videotape everything for me, he said. So, that was nice. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't like to be in bed. I've been in bed half my life, you know. Not half my life, but 20 years, 20-something years of it. I'm just, I've been enjoying being up. And now that I'm down again, reminds me I don't want to be here. <laughs> so, it's kind of depressing me. And I'm struggling, like, with the ment mental part. Um, I stress more about um, my scans when I feel, when I'm not busy and doing stuff and then having to put them off. I am being sick. I'm like, I'm trying to just focus on healing and getting better and looking at the big picture so anyway I'm just putting too much stress on myself that's all I do it that's me sorry it's the way it goes and then my sister uh, my sister Sherry and her husband Hugo they're taking Maddie they're driving her back um, with her car uh, all filled with her stuff for her new apartment because she got a new apartment there and this is her first place so they're going to go down to Texas and help her get all situated in her apartment and um, then she'll be starting school in two weeks so they will you know get her situated and say goodbye and all that stuff and then they are going to Tennessee because they bought property in Tennessee and they plan on retiring there so um, they put a bid on some property and they're meeting with the um, the people there to sign papers and do whatever they need to do and also they are um, planning on building uh, it's it's lakefront property, so they're building a home on the lake to retire in their golden years and take it easy. So anyway, um, they're going to be gone for two weeks, and that's right smack dab in the middle of my parents' move. So my sister Jennifer and I are going to be in charge of getting mom and dad moved in to their new place and all that kind of stuff um, while she takes care of her daughter because we all kids come first you know that's always none of us I mean I know it's bad timing but um, they had it planned and uh, Madison's just as important as the rest of us so we'll hold down the home front while she takes care of her family um so I guess that's it there's really nothing more um other than um just say prayer that I get better quickly so I can get my scans done and so I can get up and start moving my dad and mom and get their place finished there's a whole list of stuff that still needs to be done, so that's going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> so, and with my sister gone, um, just yeah, it's just going to be more. So anyway, so right now she's I'm sick, so they're picking up the slack for me, and then when she's gone, I'll pick up the slack for her. That's the way the world works. That's where our family works, at least. Um, yeah, so I, um, I think I'm going to be able to, it depends on if it, ha if it's easy to do, I'm going to, um, put, um, a video of my parents' new place while it's empty, um, so you guys can see it, 
it's really nice I was really happy we found it so if I can I'm gonna do that if not I'm just gonna put this up and say sorry <laughs> uh, I was too sick and couldn't concentrate <laughs> all right you guys this is I know this is barely barely a vlog but thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it um, and for those who are new this is not the norm I'm you know you'll have to go back and watch some other videos to catch up with my story but basically I have stage 4 cancer I have just did a vitamin C make a dosing treatment and I'm hoping that does some some goodness slows down the progression of my tumors which are in my bones but there you have it so I think I'm going to say goodbye to Cute for Cancer signing off. Whenever you're down